Hello, I'm Kimberly Hepner at the National Weather Service with Alaska Statewide Weather. Weather has been very active across the state during the last 24 hours and we're expecting low pressure to continue to bring a very active weather pattern to the south and southeast as we head through your Thursday and Friday. Also, we're seeing some heavier rain across the interior, which has brought river levels up for the Tanana River, and all these rivers across the south are expected to continue to rise through at least Thursday morning with areas across the Tanana River, the Tyre River, and Mendenhall Lake will continue to see flooding into late day on Thursday. In the meanwhile, we have low pressure that's parked across the northern tier of the Gulf. This is bring some thunderstorms. Actually, we've seen a few thunderstorms across the lower Susitna Valley, and we're expecting to see thunderstorms across the eastern areas of the Copper River Basin. However, all areas across the southern Copper River Basin should be on the watch out for thunderstorms as we head through tonight. So the heavier rainfall is expected to move into the southeast during the overnight hours with some very gusty winds up to 30 miles per hour with higher gusts up to 45 miles per hour all the way through the inner channels up to the northern Lynn Canal. As we head into Wednesday those winds are going to continue through much of the day and rainfall for the southeast is expected to bring those higher river levels up across the this region. Now we'll see continued rainfall across much of the state. However, it should be a little bit more showery across the northwest, a little bit cooler um, over towards the eastern boat for seacoast, bring some light snow shower activity along the coast. Patchy fog across the northern and western waters with another low pressure system moving up to the uh, central Aleutians Wednesday into Thursday. This low pressure is going to begin to slow down on Thursday uh, with the ridge just developing right ahead of it. This should allow things to dry off across much of the state. However, the southeast will be seeing some continued rain activity as low pressure is still weakening along the Alcan border. Be on the lookout for possible thunderstorms across the northeastern Gulf Coastal locations on Thursday and also near the Seward Peninsula. Low pressure will continue to ling linger and bring isolated storms there. And low pressure across the southern Aleutians is going to continue to bring rain with gusty conditions along the frontal boundary. Thanks for staying with us. This was Kimberly with Alaska Statewide Weather.